Championship Wrestling Talk, Kennelly James Kincaid, joined again by Gilbert Corson. We're still reeling from that main event last week in which Bad Dream Tito pinned the world champion, Danny Limelight. But it's another night of championship action and implications. Another big golden opportunity qualifier featuring former world champion Jordan Clearwater as he takes on Guy Cool. Yeah, Guy Cool, big time fan favorite as the path to golden opportunity continues. That field is really being fleshed out, but you mentioned that main event television title on the line. Jack Banning, the benevolent one, defending against Kevin Blackwood. First time that we're gonna be seeing him here on the program. Blackwood's got all kinds of buzz, but can he dethrone Banning, the benevolent one? We'll find out, it's time to fight on. Introducing first, from the coolest breeze in Long Beach, weighing in at 169 pounds, the party captain, Guy Cool! To say that Guy Cool is a sentimental favorite is a huge understatement here in this venue. These people love the party captain. They do, and he's nothing just sentimental about Guy Cool. Overlook him at your own peril. He almost won the red carpet rumble. Can he make the most of this opportunity and get into golden opportunity? Jordan Clearwater, who eliminated him, won the Rumble, and ultimately went on to become the United World Champion. Can he do it again here now in Golden Opportunity 2023? Clearwater parlayed that red carpet Rumble privilege uh, to become the longest reigning champion. And, but yes, you're right, these two were the final two, and Guy Cool, almost went wire to wire in that red carpet bubble. Showed just how resourceful he can be. And certainly, where Irvine Improv is friendly seas for Guy Cool, it's always a hostile environment for the former world champion. Yeah, boy. yeah, no doubt about it. No one has the ire of the crowd here quite like the Golden Boy. And once again, the Golden Boy looking to spoil the party of not only just these fans, but of Guy Cool, the party captain. Well, 2022 was a banner year for Jordan Clearwater in the United Wrestling Network. We've talked about it. He won the Red Carpet Rumble, our biggest event of the year. Went on to win the World Championship. Well, 2023, though, guys, has not started on that same high note. His faction, the Embassy, imploded. It picked his cash. His closest ally became an enemy. And Clearwater came up short in his title rematch, Lumberjack match, against Danny Limelight. So this is Clearwater's shot opportunity to right the ship. Can he do it now against the cool one, Guy Cool? Maybe a shot at redemption, and you talk about final two in a red carpet rumble. It was Clearwater and Cash for the final two in this year's red carpet rumble. Clearwater came up short, but this, another lease on life for the former champ. Yeah, another chance just takes one to get back the momentum, especially when you're as talented as the former champion, Jordan Clearwater. And that's what I find so frustrating about him. He really has all the talent in the world. There's there's no reason for him to resort to the antics and attitude that he does. And look, look at Guy Cool, just having fun. He, he really is the party captain. He's no stranger to gold in his own right. These fans here in the Irvine, in, the, in, the, in California, they love him. They love Guy Cool. It's, it's pretty amazing because Guy Cool, I, I don't know if he can do 
the unthinkable in getting a win here over Clearwater, but he did the unimaginable by making referee Chris Maxey look cool for a second. <laughs> now just hard to Teeing go. off on Guy Cool though is Clearwater. Yeah, nothing to laugh about. No laughing matter here again. Uh, one of the last okay. spots in the Golden Opportunity Tournament up for grabs. Guy Cool or Jordan Clearwater will join the likes of BJ Spark, Zicky Dice, Rocco Bellagio, Sledge. Jordan Cruz, Evan Stone, and Drew Diggs that we know who have qualified so far. Yeah, Evan Daniels, and, and I'm yeah, sorry, it, is, it, it, it has been. They, oh, oh, come on! Stomping out the glasses of Guy Cool. How's he going to combat the uh, the glare out there on the, in the seas when he's out there on the yacht? Yeah, they're, they're, those are polarized. I'll tell you. Oh, look at this. All kinds of momentum. Listen, Guy Cool's going to have to yeah. make Jordan Clearwater make a mistake. He's gonna have to use speed to his advantage and make Jordan Clearwater make a mistake if he wants to come on the winning side of this contest, guys. I would agree with you, and look at this, just a domination by the former world champ, scooping a slam with authority. I'm with you, Gilbert, or perhaps he's gonna get overzealous and maybe make the out and become a factor and get under the skin. Yeah, that's distinctly a possibility. To, I mean, to both of your points, can, can Guy Cool hang around long enough for when Clearwater does make a mistake? Because, I mean, he loves riling up this crowd, so really I don't think it's a matter of, of if, but when. Just can Guy Cool hang with it long enough and capitalize when that moment comes? And you talk about the proverbial 12th man, the faithful fans here in California who do not like Jordan Clearwater. You add that to the fact that Clearwater is about to come out of his skin because he wants the title back so bad. I'm going to ask you again, do you quit? Wait, wait, did this turn into an I quit match? Clearwater is making it so. No quit in the, in the party captain here. And I'll tell you, Clearwater is not the mouth of the south. It might be the mouth of the north, southeast and west, the way this is going. So full of himself, so braggadocious. Is the form of Just decimating Guy Cool physically and emotionally. Playing the mind games, but if this total, uh, total domination continues, Clearwater will advance into the tournament Shut up. and he will take the crowd out of this Shut matchup. Up. Clearwater in total control. We'll be back right after this. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. Hey fans, mark your calendar for Saturday, August 5th and join us at Pregame Coffee in Louisville to watch Derby City Wrestling with one of the stars of the show. Audacity's Omega D will meet and greet fans, sign autographs, and take pictures free from 12 to 1 p.m. and a chance to win free tickets to our next television event. You can watch Derby City Wrestling with one of the stars of Derby City Wrestling free August 5th from 12 to 1 at Pregame Coffee, 1737 Frankfurt Avenue in Louisville. Derby City Wrestling and Pregame Coffee, an unbeatable tag team. throughout the entire commercial break. He'd work his way back up, Clearwater would put him back down. Work his way back up, Clearwater would put him, put him back down. Finally able to break the press, finally able to break the press. Spurred on by the fans here at the Improv. Guy Cool looking as good as he has all matchup, flying all over the place, and has the former champion on his heels. Guy Cool hitting from all angles here. The season getting rough for the former world champ. Look at this. 
Punk Panel recreating some of that magic we saw in the 2021 Red Carpet. He deserves it. Yeah, he he absolutely deserves it. Teach him a lesson, you buddy. Cool. He sure was. Oh, Look out here, Punk Panel into the backbreaker. That man. Nasty landing for Clearwater. I'm not sure if Guy Cool got all of it, but you don't have to be fancy to be effective. But Clearwater smartly, wisely rolls to the outside of the ring. Jordan acting like he's heading to the hills. He's got the sunglasses on. He dives out on top of Clearwater. Scores, does Guy Cool. Cool takes the fight to the floor. He's got this he place. He it out there. He can't, but he's got this place whipped into an absolute frenzy and the point is that Guy Cool right now believes and that's a powerful motivator but you're right he's got to keep too much on the line on the too much cover. on the line couldn't put him away imagine imagine if Guy Cool had rolled Jordan Clearwater right back into the ring and hadn't jumped into the crowd Guy Cool could that have been the difference it could have but he's he, he, you he's know still he's riding the wave aggressive. he sure is high risk here Guy Cool up top can he connect snatched out oh, of midair there you see the power the golden boy of Clearwater, silencing the crowd and looking to put the big silence on Guy Cool, but still so elusive. Too much kinetic energy. Oh, oh, oh. Clearwater. That's a weakness on anybody. Yeah. Again, you don't have to be fancy to be effective, and that clearly is effective. And look out here, using the corner into a cutter. He's got it. Upset the city. Right. Is this Upset City? Oh, indeed. He's cool going to Golden oh, Opportunity. He, he was almost the mayor of Upset City there. Party captain nearly putting Clearwater away. And a miracle it would be if Guy Cool gets his way into Golden Opportunity. Look out. This, this crowd is going to come on. Oh, the roof is going to blow off this place. And he'll ride that wave. Yes. Atlanta, maybe through that tournament, but... Huge obstacle in the way right now in the form of the former world champion, but Guy Cole is holding his own and then some. Yes, he absolutely is. I mean, you talk about riding that wave of momentum. We saw it last year, Danny Limelight, really the crowd coalesced behind Limelight, willed him on, spurred him on in Golden Opportunity. Could it be that way again for Guy Cool as he continues to show the fight and takes it to Clearwater? Guy Cool, where's he finding this from? It didn't pay off earlier. Back up on that part. Oh, oh, no. Not Cuts. the landing you want. No, sir. Comes crashing down. High E over C. Cool will be singing high in the shower tonight. Guy Cool crumpled over after, yeah, that very precarious landing. And now Clearwater looking superplex perhaps here. Nowhere to go, but down for the party captain. Sinking are his hopes of getting into golden opportunity as Jordan Clearwater blowing a kiss yeah, goodbye. It goodbye and going for the cover, but Guy Cool digs down deep and kicks out. How can you not be impressed you with the it. resiliency of Guy Cool here? This kid's just tenacious. Hey, all these people in Irvine Improv can't be wrong, and, and I'll tell you, Guy Cool is living up to the adulation here. He is, he is given the former world champ a hell of a fight, looking for the golden sleep, but out the back door and upstairs. Super kick right on the money to the top of the temple. Guy Cool saying the party's not over yet, and the champion lying prone. Guy Cool from the top. Look out here, all oh, sent on, nobody home. There's not gonna be any heat on the street after that. And Clearwater charging and looking by his touch. Guy Cool, Roll got up. more life oh than a cat. He's gonna get him to go to no, so close. Close call, near fall. Former champs got him up again, looking for that golden sweep. Oh, oh this time he caught him. Boy, that's a good way to break a rib there. Clearwater goes for the cover and puts him away. Man, party is over. Here is your the win, Clearwater is in. Brings the field in the Golden Opportunity Tournament. More things change, the more they stay the same. We'll be back with more great action. Listen, Laquasso, again, I'm not one to come to you and complain, but I'm one to come and complain. Who's the one giving out golden tickets around here anyways? Is that you? Okay, yes, and number one, you are already in the tournament, so what's the problem? <laughs> 
I'll tell you what the problem is, Laquasto. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. You're giving out golden tickets to everybody. Who Still are you Waka? talking about? There's nine people in the tournament. You know who I'm talking about. I have no idea who you're the talking about. The tall freak. The new guy. Rocco Bababo. I don't even know where he's Rocco from. Bellagio. How long have I been here at the United Wrestling Network? How long have I been in Championship Wrestling? A very How long, long have time. I been in Hollywood? You so ran us out of Atlanta. Why are you giving them out to everybody? What I do in Atlanta? Yeah, you ran us out of Atlanta. Remember you beat up a 17-year-old kid after he told you his <laughs> parents were dead in the ring? It's not my fault he had a fake ID. Anyways. So what are you going to do to solve this problem? For There's me? not a problem. Unless you want a problem. I mean, oh. you know Rocco's like six foot five, right? And so am I. I can easily tell the ring announcer to say the same stuff. Uh -huh. You know he's 265. <laughs> and so am I in the fanny pack. Yeah, and you know Rocco's standing right behind you, right? <laughs> He's not standing right behind me. Yeah, I knew he was standing right behind me. Hello, Rocco. Welcome to the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Hollywood. Did you find catering? Compliments about Lander Zicky Dice? What's your problem, Zicky? Oh, Rocco. No problem. Wait, maybe there is a problem. Yeah. Maybe you have a problem with outlandish oh. Zicky Dice. <laughs> oh, listen up, green boy. I'll see you at the golden opportunity. Bring your ticket. Bring the candy. Okay, leave. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Outlandish. Yeah, <laughs> real outlandish. Save it for the time, all right? If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. I am joined here with Savannah Stone. I heard that a congratulations was in order. Zeta Zhang. See, unlike you, I'll give credit where credit is due. You beat your first test, even if it was the little old Johnny Robbie. But see, this is where that winning streak, it ends now. Because that golden opportunity, I embrace my path my prophecy and en route and becoming the first ever United Women's World Champion. And I will be damned and over my dead body while I allow a prissy opponent like you to interfere in my opportunity. Well, what do you think about your rematch against Brittany Brooks that's up next? Listen up, Barbie doll. You're swimming in shark-infested waters, and that little pretty face of yours, it's about to get damaged. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one star. Introducing first, first year Arizona, the Mega Star, Brittany Brooks. Great to see Brittany Brooks back in action. In front of back here, gentlemen, a rematch between her and Savannah Stone. United Wrestling Network know that the committee is working its way towards slating the rankings for an upcoming United Women's World Title Tournament. And introducing her opponent, 
from St. Louis, Missouri, Unbreakable, Savannah Stone! Big night for the institution. Here you see Savannah Stone in action. Oh, oh my goodness. God. Oh. Looking to do damage is Savannah Stone and looking to send a message as she always does. Those hands of stone could be a window into her mind. Certainly What's left of it? Spells doom for the opposition more times than not. And uh, saying I'm going to break her face. And, yeah. and what I was alluding to, you guys, is later on, the, the leader of yeah. the institution, yeah. Jack Banning, the benevolent one, putting the world television title on the line against a uh, challenger that's got all kinds of upside and buzz, Kevin Blackwood. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to hopefully Kevin Blackwood ending the television title reign of Jack Banning. But right now, Brittany Brooks is going to have her hands full with hands of stone. Brittany Brooks, such a fiery young competitor, guys, and only 18 years of age, carries herself uh, you know, much differently and a serious competitor that not many people are going to come back for seconds if you face off with some Yeah, I credit her for that. I think that Brooks showed her toughness really in her debut in that first match the last time that she met Stone. This is a pretty young competitor. And a, a victory here could go a long oh. way. First one don't get you, the next one will. Spanish Stone, we know what awaits her at Golden Opportunity. It is Zeta Zang for that number one seed for the United, uh, United Wrestling Network Women's World Title Tournament. Wants to go in with some momentum. Felt like, you know, earlier she kind of overlooking Brooks. It could come back to bite her here because she's showing that poise again, that, that just that willingness to go in there again with Stone, like you talked about, TK. And guys, as I understand it, there's going oh to be my God. east and west bracket in the tournament. Hold on, Stone on top. She can only find two. So there's going to be an east and west bracket in the tournament. The person who secures the number one spot in that bracket gets a bye in the first round. In the East Division, the Dominican Dynamite, Marty Bell, has already got that number one spot. And that's and, that, and, and of course we know that Bring the Bang Zang, Zeta Zang has got that spot here on that western bracket, and what a huge advantage that is, but still gonna be tough sledding to get through that tournament and make history as the first ever United Wrestling Network World Women's Champion. We got a good one here though, guys. Fiery competition. We got a slugfest brewing. Oh, what a crossbody. Body. Just enough, gets it down. Oh, Stone trying to fight her off, hanging on. What power, that came from the, all the way from the mat. But Brooks still hanging with it and just face first goes Stone. She could be out here. Just little, falling flat. Yes, a little a little facial uh, reconstruction there into the cover. Huge upset No, Not Smart. able to kick out though. That's yes. big. Just reaching for the rope. Yeah, but a veteran knows where they're at in the squared circle at all times. And, and, and Stone knew she was right by the ropes. You know, what's ironic, guys? is you heard Savannah Stone when she came out here, she said, I'm gonna break her face. It was almost the other way around in that exchange. Yeah, no doubt about it. And now you just see Stone just throwing with reckless abandon at Brooks. Show me, show me, show me. Ooh. No love lost between these two. No. Big time shots being exchanged, fighting no. from their knees. No. Trench no. warfare here between these two women. It really is. This is a war of attrition here, guys, and it's it's certainly a personal battle. Look out here, snap suplex beautifully executed by Brittany Brooks. Hanging on, swinging those hips, looking for more. No, not if Stone has anything to say about it. Power becomes a factor there, Gilbert. Look out here, that yeah, double underhook butterfly lock. Yeah, trying to put oh, Brittany over. away with another power move. We see Stone favoring that face again. Like he said, it might be might be Stone's face that got broken. Damage yeah, this being done to Savannah. I, I, it's, it's a really exciting time to be in the United Wrestling Network Women's Division. I, we have uh, top competitors uh, on every show, whether it's oh. Memphis here in California or down in Look Jersey. out here. This will be a huge win for the young Brittany Brooks. If she gets in here, Savannah Stone just finds a way to kick out. And if you oh, look- Oh God, look at her face. Can you imagine a, a Savannah Stone and a Marty Bell? Marty Bell's been undefeated down in Derby City Wrestling. And you'll recall what a what a physical encounter it was between Savannah Stone and Alex Gracia. Oh. 
Gracia was busted open. <laughs> Women's division, more physical than ever. Look at this. Little tiger split. Into the pin. So chaotic is the women's division that Stone starting to in inflict that damage she had, was talking about as she came to the ring. Sent Brittany Brooks face first a moment ago, that suplex, and now just teeing off again as she's trapped against the ropes is Brittany Brooks. She's ever just look at the intensity oh, of the eyes. Oh Stone boy, up. things boiling over in a big time way here. Stone's gotta be careful. I was talking about intensity. She's flirting with the disqualification there. And that would be a victory for Brooks over Savannah Stone. That's the way it would read in the record books. She's gotta let, oh, oh no, okay, wow. Gotta be wow. really careful here. Official allowing a lot of leniency here because he knows how pivotal these women's matches are right now. But I think I think that Stone has certainly tested the patience of the official here. And she keeps this up. She will get herself disqualified. It will prove a costly, costly mistake when every win and loss matters so much. And again, just going right back to just clubbing shots to the back of Brittany's head or neck. Oh, she didn't break. Up, yeah, they, and you know what? And stepping wow. in rightfully so. Oh, man. Disqualification, Brittany Brooks. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Can't lose matches like that. Not when we're in this tournament. However you slice it, Brooks defeated Savannah Stone. Brooks is your winner. Things boil over. Look, Zeta Zang. Oh, this thing continues to boil over. Out here, looking for the snow plow. Oh, well, for once, it was not Zeta Zhang who was the victim of a sneak attack. Turnabout is fair play. Now Savannah Stone's been dumped on her head. A taste of her own medicine. How's it taste, Savannah Stone? Bring the bang Zhang living up to that name. We'll be back. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 215 pounds, Dylan Boston. Gets that for Oxford Championship Wrestling. Now, Gilbert at Derby City Wrestling, I've often heard you refer to this man as entitled, and that's sweet the way Dylan Bostick has been acting. I've been referred to him in many ways. Entitled, brash, cocky, obnoxious, rude, rebellious, and jerk. And welcome. And he's got a microphone. Well, 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 what do you know? Dylan Bostick is back in championship wrestling. Now you see, each week I've came out here and had to watch all of these new guys get these massive opportunities and move on to golden opportunity. But 
No one's given Dylan Bostic an opportunity. So with that being said, I'm going to make my own opportunity tonight. I'm gonna challenge any of those new guys in the back. And you know what? Even better, I'll challenge any of the old guys from the past. Challenge issued. Challenge and accepted. Introducing his opponent from Garden Grove, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Irish juggernaut, Mikey O'Shea. Dylan Bostic might be eating his words and regretting that challenge because he's got a big one in front of him now. Got to take on the juggernaut. Both these guys with a lot of history in the United Wrestling Network. Bostic returns to championship wrestling been featured recently on Derby City Wrestling. Former tag team champion way back in the day as a member of Pac-3, but let's talk about the Irish juggernaut, Mikey O'Shea. He's had some of the most notable feuds in the history of this program, including against the likes of Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. That's such an imposing silhouette. It's always great to see Mikey O'Shea back here at United Wrestling. I'm looking forward to him making Dylan eat his words. Yeah, Boston gas for a newcomer from the back. That is not exactly what he got here, TK. No, certainly isn't. Can I just set the record straight here? Dylan Bostic has been running his mouth to anybody who will listen about the fact that he beat the Pope Elijah Burke. Yes, he cheated and got a victory over the Pope but Pope came back and beat him up pretty bad yeah. <laughs> in, in a rematch in Derby City. And casually omits that from his history. Dylan doesn't talk much about that. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that initial win was uh, had a big assist from an exposed turnbuckle. Sure, yes. Oh, yeah! And a big, uh, big power display by the big man, Mikey O'Shea. He was always so happy to return yes. to the United Wrestling Network. Oh, Look in you here. come, Dylan, the hard way. Win against Elijah Burke, without a doubt, the biggest of Dylan Bostic's career. Yeah, just ask us, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, shut up about it. Nobody home for Mikey O'Shea. Going to work. Body shots to the big man here by Bostic. And, and a boxing background. Right? Going to work in the sizable midsection there of O'Shea. Letting the hands fly of O'Shea. He gets that big body movement. And, you know, we have some incredibly agile heavyweights. This is an incredibly yeah. agile D Dylan super has heavyweight. A boxing background, but Mikey O'Shea is not a punching bag. Did you feel that? Well, that Boston's face said that he did. Yeah, I think that one registered on Richter Stale here at Cal uh, Caltech. And, and Mikey O'Shea now back in control, who since returning from time to time, O'Shea has had some tough battles here in the United Wrestling Network. And certainly will get one against the resourceful and KG Bostic, who utilizes that top rope as an ally there. Opportunistic Bostic up on top. O'Shea, Dave, Dan, double Max. All the way. Big time leap. All the way across the ring. Lowered the boom on him. Bombs away there by Dylan Bostic, but not elected to go for the cover. Man, that was a wide open double axe. Yeah, that was it. All of his weight coming down, like you said, Gilbert, all the way across the ring. Ooh. And now. And here's the thing about Dylan Bostic. I'm telling you, I, again, cocky, brash, and not you rebellious. You know, I go on and on. I, 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 it just brings it out of here. But he's a good athlete. Yep. He can fight. He can wrestle. It's the mo maybe the most frustrating part about yes. him. So you have to endure all of his other foibles. Like, if you were terrible, it would be one thing. But the fact that from bell to bell, they, you can get it done in the ring. That's what makes it more. Yeah, like that. Jordan Clearwater in that respect. But he just got intercepted by Mikey O'Shea. Or Zicky Dice. Take yes. Pick. You know, we often said that as Zicky Dice. Look out here. Follow a slam by O'Shea, who has been through the fires of competition literally one time years ago. Adam Pierce threw a fireball in this guy's face. O'Shea answered back and defeated Pierce in the steel cage. Yeah. Incredible. What you call a battle-tested ring veteran. No doubt. Hush falling over the crowd as O'Shea looking to just destroy Bostic here. Has him down, has him up. Oh, out the back door goes Bostic. Oh, he's gonna, well, you're gonna try it. That's not gonna work. Uh, you that dog would say, Yes, oh, exactly. Oh, 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 that's what Bostic's known for. You talk about his victory. Not this way. This is the no, way he wins. Come on. Here is your winner, Dylan Bostic.
A lot of moving parts there, guys. Bostick does it again. Shady tactics. The, the official was in there. Now let's take a look back at the actual. Shay was looking dominant. The official got the mix, and there you see it. That point. Again, classic Dylan Bostick. I have seen him win more matches this way than I can count with a shot. Underneath the bell, behind the referee's back, but at the end of the day, the record book will read 1-2-3 with Dylan Bostic. You blink and you miss Bostic Cheetah. Still to come, our main event, tells us the title of line, upcoming, we'll be back. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people, the future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call Yeah, I know we spoke earlier, but I just had to call back just to confirm this is exactly what you want to do. Okay. All right, golden opportunity it is. All right, get ready. What's up, Johnny? Want to talk to hey, me, bro? Yes. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Hey, how you doing, uh, gentlemen? Cool. Uh, so you're the number one contender. Everyone knows that, right? Number one. You've earned it. Two, you're going to get your title opportunity. Yep. But you also know it's a little convoluted because we have, you know, the red carpet rumble winner Invictus Cash. He's allowed to cash in any time he wants. Most of the time over the years, people have done it as a surprise. They become champion, and who could blame him? But Cash is, is a man of his word, and, and he's a stand-up guy. He just called me to say that he's cashing in. At Golden Opportunity. No, 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 that's, no, okay, okay. that's my spot. That's his spot. I, no, Johnny, I respect that's that. for me. Okay, Peter, I know, time. but Tietz, here's the thing. The winner of the Rumble gets precedence. You're still number no, one. That's, you're that's, that's ridiculous. No, no, you're gonna get your I've had that shot for a long time now. No, no, I know. You're gonna get that match. When? When? Ah, okay. You want to screw me, Jay? You want to screw me out of my mouth? You want to screw me out? Okay. Everybody else wants to screw me. You're no different. That's my title shot. That's my you think you got away? You haven't got away from nothing. I'm still coming. I'm still coming for you. This ain't over. This ain't over for a long shot. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Main event time. The challenger Kevin Blackwood who will buy it for the television title, but we just had a major shakeup in the world title picture, guys. That's right, Invictus Cash is invoking his right as Red Carpet Rumble winner. Johnny Laquasto informing that dude Tito that that takes precedent. I mean, that is, that is a, a huge, huge shift. And, and Tito's reaction, he did not take it well. Tito has pinned Danny Limelight in their last meeting. He thought he was going the golden opportunity with the title match. That title match is going to rip out from underneath them. Invictus Cash has it now against the Radioactive Poppy. Here you see the champion, the benevolent one, Jack Banny, who is, as of late has tried to, at least in his mind, live up to that moniker. He gave Papo Esco his long-awaited rematch for another shot at the television title. How did he how did he go about that after making the challenge? Hit him in the backstage. back of the head, not once but twice with the title. He, he's got a weird way of trying to redistribute the wealth, does malevolent Jack Banning. Ha. 
And, you know, I hope Kevin Blackwood can, can make him pay here and make the most of this great opportunity that he has. The aesthetic crippler, lethal with his strikes and submissions, so Banning better be careful. And you, you heard that Banning was upset because uh, Kevin was grateful to, to the United Wrestling Network for the opportunity for the title match. You felt like you should have been grateful to, uh, to Banning. Do you ever get the sense that Jack Banning is always the victim in his own story? No doubt about it, and banning some really dis disrespectful words on where banning has competed or where Blackwood has competed. But we got a, a main event title first, match coming up. The away. Challenger from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 185 pounds, the aesthetic crippler, Kevin Blackwood. <laughs> And introducing his opponent from Shady Pines, weighing in at 213 pounds, he is the United Television Champion, Benevolent Jack Banning! So who's Banning talking to? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to ask that question. Who is Jack Manning talking to and what is he saying? He, he better worry about Kevin Blackwood and not about this imaginary conversation because Blackwood, one kick, one double stomp, new television champion on the way. Yeah, world-renowned striker is Blackwood. He's competed in the highest of levels. He's competed in AEW, but he asked Banning. Banning, you know, realizes that this guy has got a lot of buzz. He's got a lot of attention by the internet wrestling fan base. And, and belittling Blackwood yeah, for that. He, 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 Banning knows that, but he, he's acting like Blackwood's some sort of charity case when really there's a huge spotlight on, on Kevin Blackwood. Blackwood, now you're seeing the striking on display. The leg kicks taking out the wheels of the television champion. Jack Banning swing and a miss by the champion. And, and Blackwood is trained with the likes of, of Red Death Daniel Garcia, who has had a lot of great history here in the United Wrestling Network. And this match is, really proves again what this summer showcase is all about. Some of the top talent from around the wrestling world coming through the doors of United. From Blackwood, all over the globe. Proud of his Buffalo roots, Buffalo, New York. Moved coast to compete here out, out here in, in California, but recently came up against the string of bad luck. He, his car was broken into, his wrestling gear was stolen. When you lose your gear and that's your way of life, you lose your opportunity to make money. Well, he, might, he might have some serious gear here in the form of the United World Television title. And now you got Blackwood dishing out the pain, and I think the champ kind of likes it. Guys. Yeah, he, he's certainly acting like it right. Hit! Now and yeah, just eating those shots is Jack Ben. He's he's laughing. He's a lethal striker. Yes, absolutely. Double stomp. Boy, that's paved the path to many a victory. Will it pave the path to the television title? Not yet. That but double stomp, TK, is actually his specialty. He yes. hits it from many different positions. Explosive. Banning cannot afford to sit here and be a sitting duck, guys. If he does. He's going to end up looking at the lights, whether he's laughing or smiling or not, and he will be able to be kissing that title goodbye. Oh. He's overlooking Blackwood as he's just letting him seemingly you know, get any strike he wants. A nice suplex, beautiful float over new champion incoming. Not yet, but inching closer. Two count that time from the aesthetic crippler Kevin Blackwood. And finally now Banning offering back a strike of his own, but still just mocking Kevin Blackwood. One of the things that I noticed right out of the game is Kevin Blackwood, he has this fire, this explosiveness, this intensity with all of his offense. Yeah, but what's it do to you mentally when you when you're 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 hitting somebody with their best shots? And this is this is you know the reaction you're getting. Blackwood's used to taking people's heads off. Yes. He's hit Banning with all kinds of arsenal. And Banning oh God. eating those shots from here. Nice counter by the challenger. It's unsettling to say the least. Oh, neck first over the top rope. And what a boot. Just an absolute decapitating shot from the champion to Blackwood. The champ in control. Our main event for the television title rages on. Next. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. 
CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Hey fans, mark your calendar for Saturday, August 5th and join us at Pregame Coffee in Louisville to watch Derby City Wrestling with one of the stars of the show. Audacity's Omega D will meet and greet fans, sign autographs and take pictures free from 12 to 1 p.m. and a chance to win free tickets to our next television event. You can watch Derby City Wrestling with one of the stars of Derby City Wrestling free August 5th from 12 to 1 at Pregame Coffee, 1737 Frankfurt Avenue in Louisville. Derby City Wrestling and Pregame Coffee, an unbeatable tag team. Welcome back to our main event, everyone. The champion in control throughout the break has uncorking some big shots of his own. And right before we went to commercial, the momentum shifted the other direction for Jack Manning when he hung Kevin Blackwood out to dry over the top rope. You've heard Banning make those disparaging remarks about where Blackwood has been in his career. I'm not going to repeat them here, but it just it just speaks to just the, again the weird sort of ideas that Banning has about what being benevolent is. And Banning, as dominant as he is, has had some questionable questionable victories. You recall Zicky Dice was instrumental in his win over Willie Mack, and of course he utilized the world television title again against Papoesco to, to, to gain his most recent title defense. Again, the weird sort of idea on what redistributing the wealth looks like when you're Jack Banning. Oh, and, and mocking, mocking the crowd. It's come to mocking both Blackwood's arsenal and the crowd here at the Irvine Improv. So Banning calls himself benevolent. James, I've heard you call him the exact opposite. I, I, think I, I think I have him titled. You know, and I would go with that. He is not well-meaning in kind. Banning is, many would say, pure evil. Uh, I, and I would, I would speak to that as well as something of an expert after Banning put me in the hospital when I was trying to conduct an interview. Did you get my card? I did. It was very nice. Yeah. Glad to see you back at the back. Yeah, you know, that was just a, a scary, scary moment, and it showed what this guy is capable of. There's, no there's, depths he won't see. You're, you're exactly right. But, but look at this. I'll tell you, Blackwood will take you to the depths of hell when you're in battle with a succession of chops, and the champion is... He finds himself in a hell of a battle here. Oh, what an elbow. You asked face. earlier, what do you do if you're fighting a guy who seems to like pain? You cannot give up the preps. You cannot give up the fight. So you just got to hope that something's going to get through. You're exactly right. You just got to keep dishing it out until you break down whatever armor or madness your opponent has. Blackwood hit that big exploder suplex, and he's simply a step or two faster than the champion now. Yeah, this and this is key for the, for the challenger, making Banning wrestle at Blackwood's pace. Banning's gonna want to slow it down, be more methodical, and you're seeing step up, up tempo in is in the favor of the aesthetic crippler. What a German suplex, new champion to be crowned. Stuck him with that German, beautiful bridge as well. And, and to your point, you gotta just keep on moving on, and that's what Blackwood's doing. He's fighting his fight despite the annex of the, of the uh, champion. Yeah, starting to implement his game plan, his strategy, the pace that he wants, but putting the brakes on now is Banning. Yeah. Gotta keep it up-tempo if you're Blackwood. I, I think maybe a slight mistake here going back to the grappling, just keep, keep up with those strikes, but out the back door, swing, wild miss from Blackwood. Champion looking to capitalize after that miss. Pops him up, oh, oh look at that! that. How scout, about scout scout it? Stop. There's the double stomp again! Wow, 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 guys, remember the title is on the line here, and that was a smart, a smart series of offense Spiked here. him, spiked him with the brain buster. Leg History to be made, new champ. Round? No, not yet, but I'll tell you, man, Blackwood, 
stringing together the offense, taking the fight right to the television. He champion. can't stop the press now. He's got the champion in trouble. He's finally been able to injure Jack Banning. Banning's eyes went saucer-like. Champion starting to look like a screen door in a hurricane. Blackwood's got to stay on him. As far as the strikes are in Blackwood, this guy's got ice water through his veins. If he is not succumbing, succumbing yet to the mental mind games of the champ. Trying to stove in the chest of the champion with that kick, swing and a miss. Banning has just still been able to eat all those strikes and still smile on his face. I mean, Banning is, sick. is a different kind of cat. He loves pain. We've talked about it. He seeks to torture, maim, and destroy. He's a psychopath. These two champion and challenger are trading in the dead center of the ring and trying to make the other dead to rights. Upstairs, downstairs goes Kevin Blackwood. Aesthetic crippler, I guess, all over the champ here. Full hit of steam, nowhere to go but down. Lights could be going out on the champion. Going up top is the challenger. Starting to feed off the energy of the crowd. Gonna yeah. launch, looking maybe for a Meteora, perhaps doesn't matter. Banning able to evade, pop-up was looking, cutter again, and this time he hit it. Didn't get all the pop-up, but definitely got the cutter. Yeah, no question about it. And looking yeah, for the guillotine, no, jumps come guard. On. No, 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 Jumps no, no. guard. And I don't think Blackwood has got any guard or any answer, answer for this. Fight out of it, Kevin. It could be night-night time for Kevin Blackwood because this is the way that Jack Banning Blackwood able matches. to get out of it. Blackwood able to get out of it. Made. You gotta capitalize, you gotta cover right now. No time to waste. There are welts and red marks all over the chest, back, and body of Jack Banning. But I mean, the, the, how much damage was done with the guillotine? How many how much of his berries does Black would have to follow up? Energy surge here, perhaps sensing that he could be the new television champion. He is going back up top. Blackwood. Has got his mental faculties, it would seem. Yeah. Looking for the double, double stomp again. This time oh. counter. He didn't get it. And oh, he's, in the guillotine. Counter. he's in the guillotine again. Yeah. This time it is absolutely locked in. A mistake from Blackwood. The champion caught him there. Played possum, perhaps. Can he get out? He's Can in he the get quick, out? He's in the quicksand now, oh, gentlemen. Middle oh, of the oh, ring. God, oh, middle God. of the ring. Oh, middle oh, of the God. ring. He had no other choice but the tap. Valiant effort from Blackwood. Oh, an incredible challenge by Kevin Blackwood. But speaking of challengers, we got keep company. Oh. Keep that boy in the house. Hey, Benny, you didn't think I was going to let you hit me in the back of the head with the world television title twice and get away with it, did you? I did get away with it. Nah. Like I said before, we ain't done yet. So I, so I got to thinking, what? here's what I came up with. What? While you was out here handling your business, what? I was in the back handling a little bit of business of my own. What? I talked to LaCroix Stowe. Pitched him an idea and he liked it. What? So a golden opportunity, what? Jack Banning what? is gonna defend the United Wrestling World Television Championship what? against the King Fat Boy, Papo Esco. And hey, hey, go ahead and bring that title. Go ahead and swing it hard. Matter of fact, bring any toy or weapon you want because this match is a bodega street fight. Whoa! Oh. You gotta love that. You see the reaction by the champion. And that's how Esco that's won the title in the first place was a bodega you street fight. What a title match coming up. The opportunity the hits keep coming from the United Wrestling Network. Banny looks excited. The card is down for Golden Opportunity. TV title on the line. Invictus Cash cashing in against the radioactive Poppy. And Golden Opportunity triple threat matches, guys. More history, more destiny en route with Golden Opportunity. Championship action, implications, a lot of titles on the line, including that one. He's going to have to step out of Shady Pines and into the bodega. We'll see you next week.